for this. I'm not this type of YouTuber, you know? Okay. <laughs> so, my MacBook finally came. I'm so excited. I didn't get scissors because I watched enough videos to know that there's a little pulley here and you don't need scissors. I'm about to see it for the first time. <sighs> Even the little MacBook Air words are gold. I don't know if you can see in this video. <laughs> okay, I should just stop trying to make this video. This is not who I am. Keep going, please. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just going to pull it out now. <laughs> Wow, she's so small. When the box came outside, I was honestly, I didn't think that it was it because it's so small. Here she is. This is her. This is my MacBook Air. Okay. Okay, so talk a little bit about the specs. So I didn't just get the baseline for this MacBook Air. I wanted to have a bit of like a better processor, a uh, better RAM, because I wanted it to be a very big upgrade from the MacBook that I currently have, which is a MacBook Pro, which I think is like a 2012, but I got it in 2016, so it's about four years old for me, but it is quite old. Um, the MacBook Pro that I had had an i5 processor uh, with only four gigs of RAM. I did eventually upgrade to eight gigs of RAM, which made a little bit of a difference, but it still didn't perform the way that I wanted it to so I got this one which has an i7 processor did I even start this one no, no. I didn't I didn't start the up camera Why don't you just put it in? okay here it is so here's my MacBook Air 2020 um, I upgraded to an i7 processor and 16 gigs of RAM because I wanted this to be a little powerful machine <laughs> So, we're gonna open her up. I'll put the specs up for more information. Oh, wow. Look at that. So nice. Apple really knows product design and packaging design, let me tell you. Yeah, that saran wrap is top tier. I really don't need comments from the peanut gallery right now. <laughs> it's not ASMR if it's not near the mic. Okay. So, yeah, they really know how to package their products. That's all I'm saying. Okay, we're opening her up. It's a very slow process. <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's so beautiful. Okay. This is so light. Yeah, it's a fourth the weight of your current computer. This is insane. Oh my gosh, she's so thin. Wow, she lost a lot of weight. I'm gonna, just like all the other YouTubers, I'm just gonna put this aside for a second so that I can Get take, to a, the real part. take a look at what, what else is in the box. Okay, so um, this is probably like directions, I guess, to how to use it. MacBook Air, oh, the gold stickers. I love that the stickers come in the color that you get your MacBook. That's a nice detail, good job, Apple. Okay, the rest of this, um, I have had an Apple computer for a long time, so I think a lot of this is gonna be some stuff that I already know. The only thing um, completely different about this MacBook, um, one, that it's an Air. I had a Pro before this. This is my first MacBook Air, and the Touch ID, but it'll walk me through that once I start it up. So I don't really need to go into detail reading this right now. This little tiny box. It's only slightly bigger than my iPad charger, which is super convenient that it's so small because the one for the Pro is huge and I don't know, maybe they it's updated now for the newer Pros, but the Pro that I had, um, it was huge and I just like lugged that around, it was a lot. So I'm really glad that this is so small and then the charging cable, it's USB-C. 
Um, as you know, the newer laptops don't have USB, they have USB-C, um, which is a little inconvenient, but I like it being thinner, so I would rather have a, you have to use an adapter and have a thinner laptop. So these are, this is, that's it, that's all that comes in the box, this little thing with the stickers and your cables. So we'll put the box to the side and uh, check her out. Um, in every video that I watch, which was a lot, um, when you open it, it automatically starts up. So I'm very excited. I don't know if I should change the camera angle so people can see. I mean, you definitely should. The other side of the computer. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Look at this. Something that is new about this laptop as well is that this doesn't glow. The Apple, it's just a little shiny mirror. Which I'm fine with. She's so small. <laughs> look at how small. Oh, look at how fast she is. Oh, this is so nice. It's a nice keyboard. Oh my gosh. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Touch ID. Okay. This is probably the best part of this laptop. Because even though it's not like super inconvenient to like um type in a password it's just it's faster. just so nice i want auto i like it on auto i like light in the day dark and night she's on updates i just got you well now what it's done She's done. Okay, so right now I have my old laptop next to the new MacBook. Even though these are both like 13 inch screens, but you can see there's like a visible difference in the size of them. Like, you know, I would say there's a whole nother like inch over here, I'd say. So even though they're the same size, this is clearly like very, it's thinner and smaller. There's less like hardware to the side of it. Um, and if you look, this feels so heavy to pick up now. If you look from the side, you can really see the difference in thickness. This is much thinner. Um, the ports are different. There's only two USB-C and then one headphone jack over here. And then on the old one, there's you know CD drive. There's all of these USB. Um, SD card and all these other ports over here. I don't know the name of all, but I'm sure my boyfriend could tell you, but I don't think you all need to know. Anyway, there's a lot of ports on this one, a lot going on. This laptop is still, I'm still using this to this day, like I was using this this morning. It's still not a terrible laptop. It does the majority of what I need on a daily basis. It's just slow because it's old. Um, Although I've, you know, been editing more videos, not only for YouTube, but for schoolwork um, and distance learning. Um, so I've been using a lot more like Adobe programs. I've been using Lightroom, Photoshop, um, and doing a lot of art-based things. So it's been too much for this laptop. Um, if I was just doing regular daily use, I'm sure I could have gotten a, a much, much more out of this laptop. But because, um, the increasing digital uh, need right now with distance learning and just everything being online. Having a new, good, reliable laptop was really important to me um, as a new teacher. So 
that is why I decided to upgrade. I thought it was a really good time. This is what I think is going to work best for me and my lifestyle and what I need. That's going to differ for everybody. Um, I'm not saying everybody needs to upgrade to an i7 processor and 16 gigabytes of RAM, but that's just what I did because I feel like that will best suit my need. What I'm doing right now is I'm just going through and downloading um, all of the apps and stuff that I made at this computer is absolutely crazy to me. Accessories that I got that haven't come in yet, uh, they're gonna take some time, they keep getting delayed because of everything that's going on. I got the, a USB-C hub that converts um, a lot of different um, memory, like SD card, the regular USB ports, all that good stuff. I also got a hard drive which did come in. I don't really want to put a bunch of my old stuff on this new computer. This is kind of like a new new part of my life. Um, going from student with lots of documents and stuff to teacher. <laughs> and of course I will use those documents and use those um, research elements and things a lot but on a hard drive. When I need them, I will get them. I don't want them bombarding my space, my um, digital space. That's something that I think is really important. Having a clean digital space um, helps with a clean mind. I don't want to say get bored, but eventually when like I'm over the excitement of like the gold laptop, I'll put a case on it. But right now, like I like like the look of it and it's not like I'm going anywhere with it. Um, once things start opening back up and I start working at like coffee shops and things like that, I will get a sleeve so I can pop it in the sleeve before I put it just loose in my bag. If anybody has any recommendations for cases that might still like show some of the gold or anything like that, um, you can put them down in the comments, that'd be cool. I am selling this computer. It is going bye-bye. Um, I will miss it. It's been really good to me, but somebody else needs it. Um, so I'm selling, selling it to um, somebody who will. So something that I didn't mention that I knew I wanted to mention because it was something that I was curious about when I was watching videos. So I'm sure it's something that you, if you are watching, <laughs> are curious about. And that is delivery time. So I ordered it on the 18th of April and it came today on the 7th so it took a, just under three weeks to get here i think it took the amount of time that it did because i upgraded i didn't just get the baseline like the ready to ship uh, it took a while for them to put together the laptop and actually deliver it and also there's a pandemic <laughs> so things are delayed so it is later in the day slash night and I'm super happy to say that I was successfully able to edit the entire unboxing video. I will add this footage obviously but I was able to edit um, this whole video using Premiere Pro. Um, the fan didn't have to turn on once. The bottom is a little warm but that's totally expected it's not overheating at all um even if the fan does turn on something that i notice in a lot of videos um people are saying oh the fan turn on it's overheating when the fan turns on it doesn't mean that your laptop or computer is overheating the job of the fan is to prevent it from overheating so if the fan turns on that's a good thing it's doing its job it's keeping it from overheating if the bottom of your laptop is warm um it's not overheating it's just a machine that is working and on. Sorry if that came off like, mm, but that's something that worried me in the videos and what I expected my lap these laptops to be like terrible because they're overheating. Um, but that's not the case. Using Premiere Pro, it did not crash once. It's been totally, totally fine. Large files, like um, you know, 10, 15 minute long video clips, and bring them in, sizing them down, rendering. I haven't I haven't had an issue. So that's really good. That's something that was important to me and why I upgraded to the i7 processor and the 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I think that that is at work right now, um, making this video. So overall, I'm extremely happy with this purchase. I know this video was a little silly. It was not like my normal videos, but I did want to put this out because I watched a lot of these videos when I was thinking about getting a Mac or just when I 
ordered it but was just so excited and wanted to watch other people and their excitement using it. Um, so I guess I hope this video brings a little bit of joy to somebody while they're waiting for their MacBook or looking into getting one. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. If you like this video, go ahead and like it, subscribe. Um, this is not my usual content. I'm an artist. I do a lot of art videos, um, things of that nature, but I'd love to have you join the community. So if you want to hang around, feel free to subscribe and uh, see you next time.